if you haven't ridden the latest Triumph Rocket 3, you bloody well need to. It's one of life's naughty pleasures combining sadistic talk, world leading numbers and a hint of sophistication. Triumph has just released a limited edition R and GT in a new dark flavour, so we sent the T-Boy along to Hinkley to sample them in the flesh and ask the questions that needed asking. We're here with Miles Perkins from Triumph to talk about these. This is the new Triumph Rocket 3 R Black and that is the new Triumph Rocket 3 GT Triple Black. Now, they look good in pictures, but they look absolutely awesome in the flesh. Me and Al both rode the, uh, that rocket yeah. um, in the, on the launch yeah. uh, just over a year ago. Yeah. Uh, absolutely loved them. Now, on paper, they're a fairly bonkers bike. Was there any opposition to, to, to building such a, such a nutty bike? No, I think the, the, the engineering team's view was um, let's go as far and as great as we can. Yeah, go nuts. You know, maybe this is, uh, you know, in the world of electric bikes and conversations, th this is a, a, a very different kind of yeah. statement in yeah. regards to yeah. the, the, you know, the pinnacle of it's the world's biggest production engine, it's the world's highest torque loaded with all the specification that makes this an absolute flagship so so these two new models then limited edition yep. why why have you why have you decided to do that why, why does the world need these um well when we launched the about just about a year and a half ago maybe with the with the standard rocket 3r and gt that's been very successful we've built about eight thousand since then wow um, which is quite remarkable that's about double um on a yearly basis uh, from the previous generation and that's a very big fans favorite bike mm -hmm. the previous bike these have gone on to be really successful in terms of the amount of people who've sort of got into them and bought them and uh, and also done things with them you know we've seen some yeah. um, some quite equally bonkers uh, customers yeah. built off of them what we wanted to do for the beginning of uh, the, the sort of the riding season for 2021 is up the game again uh, and give people another choice um, in the family because these of course are still available the standard bikes with something that maybe adds even more into the character of that kind of aggressiveness mm -hmm. so if you're having a muscle bike this takes that to an even more sort of uh, you know aggressive yeah. and and this which is a bit more of the sophisticated cruiser I think the black scheme on here again that that lifts that a notch as well yeah. so more choice basically. yeah okay with these though, they do have higher specification bits on as well, not in terms of the performance, because it is already, you know, the absolute sort of benchmark mm -hmm. uh, for, the, for that, but there are more touches to it than just a paint scheme. Okay. And we sell out of all our lovely colors. I mean, we, quite often people will say, well, where are the bright colors? Well, we do have bright colors in the family, but then when you look at what sells mm -hmm. and, and when you say, okay, here's a range of colors, and then a year later, you look at which ones sold the best, Triumphs in black yeah, are, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. certainly there's a large audience that, that wants that look. It's mm -hmm. very traditional for Triumph. Yeah. So the, we, we've talked about how black they are. Now, the, both models are a thousand pound more than the, yep. the standard versions of the bike, the yep. R and the GT. Other than them being black and the carbon fiber mudguards, th there's, no extra, there's no extra performance enhancing parts as the, you know, there's, there's no shifter or blipper or anything like that. No. It is just black. And, and do you think for that thousand pounds, people might expect something else? These are a lot of money. You know, there's no getting around. They're, they're an absolute flagship motorcycle getting on for 20,000 um, pounds. What we didn't want to do was to stuff them with more things. They're already the absolute pinnacle in terms of technology, specification, the world's highest in terms of the performance. And you've ridden them, we've yeah. ridden together. They handle in a way you just yeah. wouldn't believe. So um, I, I think that the equation there was to add more uniqueness, more to the look. You do get the, 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 the bar mirrors as well as the carbon fiber, but the amount of black touches are, it's not a couple of things. It's, yeah, yeah. it's pretty much yeah. everything. Yeah. Um, and you get a certificate of authenticity, uh, a limited edition certificate, which has the VIN number on. So it, it, we could have put more on, but then the price would climb up as more. Yeah. Um, and we wanted to um, bring more people the opportunity of owning a rocket. Yeah. So the more you put on, the less um, people can, can get their hands on that. And I think the price for a thousand pounds is within the realms of reasonable for mm -hmm. this type of motorcycle. Yeah. 
uh, for something that is absolutely the biggest and the, the best in the world. Yeah. So the limited to a thousand models each, yeah. a thousand GTs and a thousand Rs. Do we know how many the UK is going to get? How, how are you going to spread that thousand across the world? Yep. So it's a, as you say, it's a, it's a global um, number, a thousand of each. The actually the allocation for the UK and other countries has not been completely set yet. Um, but as of now, mm -hmm. um, if you want one of these, and I think they're going to be in some demand, um, if you talk to your dealers, uh, pretty much get your name down straight away. It may help with the UK allocation, but it's not completely confirmed yet. Okay. Where, where do you expect them to sell? Well, I mean, I guess the US are probably a, a good market for these. Yeah. Uh, have rockets sold well in the UK? They, they've sold well um, all over the world. The, the UK um, is, is up in the top, top three or four in terms of sales. America is the number one market, but there's a scale to just how many people can ride motorbikes there, as yeah, well as yeah. this kind of bike suits, suits that kind uh, It's British and it's aggressive and it's a big capacity vehicle. It mm -hmm. sort of goes, uh, goes with, a, with a lot of the American motorcycling world. But they uh, sell very well in France, sell very well in Italy. Uh, but no, the, the UK is, uh, you know, Triumph does mm -hmm. um, uh, take a lot of satisfaction and put a lot of effort into providing bikes into the UK that, that you know, that, that uh, reflect this being our yeah. home market, our yeah. number one. Yeah. So these rockets then, whereabouts in the world are they built? So all of our final assembly happens in Thailand, but all of the design, prototyping uh, and manufacturing intent starts in the UK um, at our headquarters in Hinckley. Okay. So we're at um, uh, TGB, our type Great Britain headquarters. The, um, the main factory is about a mile, uh, a mile that way as the crow flies. And in there are our design and engineering teams, our prototype development teams. Um, and there are individual bits that are actually made there as well. But in the main, final assembly happens in Thailand, all full design, prototyping, testing. And that's why you see spy shots yeah. in, with wonderful British weather. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, all, it's all done it's here. All done here yeah. So the first one I rode of these was, you know, was, was completely built and assembled here. Okay. So, is it going to be a problem getting into the getting them into the country at the minute, and and you know when do you think they'll be available for for the British public? So the the, the general time frame for availability around the world is about mid April onwards. I don't know the explicits in the UK as to exactly what day and which dealer they'll come in, but I would say that I, we think they're going to be quite in demand, and because you can put your deposit down from now and we know what the price is going to be of them. Um, it's possible that when they come in is less of the issue. It yeah. might be more when, when, uh, 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 when, when can you get your name down for yeah. one. Okay. That would be a lovely thing to have happen because obviously there's a lot, of, uh, uh, a lot of fans of the brand and a lot of effort goes in trying to give them what they want. So, um, uh, so you may know by the time this video goes out okay. exactly when they're gonna come yeah. in. Yeah. Well, there you go, mid-April-ish, hopefully for this, the Triumph Rocket 3 R black, and that, the Triumph Rocket 3 GT triple black. If you want one, you might have to be quick. <laughs>